Well, this is exactly why the water protectors were standing their ground, fighting against the Dakota Access Pipeline, some 200 miles away from their site in North Dakota, we have another big spill. This leak has spilled into a creek. They say that they have sent personnel to the site. They've set up a series of booms, as you can see here, to prevent any downstream migration. And they state that they've gone four miles downstream to set up an area where they can try to siphon out all this stuff, but they, they have no clue how much oil has been lost. They say that this discovery was made on Monday and an unknown volume of oil has leaked from the pipeline. Now, this pipeline is operated by Bell Forsch Pipeline and it was going into the Ash Cauley Creek. This is 16 miles northwest of Bellfield in Billings County and approximately 200 miles away from where the protests have been taking place against the Dakota Access Pipeline. So what we have here is an unknown amount of oil that has just seeped into the waterway. And everybody that's been down here protesting is pretty much saying, see, I told you so. Look how close this just hit to home. What if this would have just happened right in the spot that they've been protesting? If something like that would have happened to affect their waterway, they would be up a creek without a paddle. With the main source of the water at that lake uh, all getting contaminated, with everything running down into it. That's what they're trying to prevent. Now up here at this site, it looks to be in a rather remote area. They haven't given away the specific location and I'm sure they're trying to do everything they can to uh, cover everything up here and keep on pushing. But a massive spill of unknown proportions is something to keep track of. They could come out later and say, this has been millions of barrels. Or it could be a smaller amount. The fact is, we don't know. They're not saying anything. And knowing how much oil they're sending from point A to point B, they know how much they're sending from point A to point B. If they send a certain amount from A to B and they check the supply at point B and it is short, however much, then they know exactly how much that they're missing. Problem is, they're not wanting to state it. We're not even sure if they've nipped this thing in the bud completely. They've had to go four miles downstream to set up this alternative spot to try to siphon out oil. And it looks like they're trying to rush before this catches any big time attention. So I wanted to shed some light on it because this is exactly why the people have been fighting against these pipelines and where they run them always crossing critical points instead of rerouting them down another way. But we also have the tribal leaders up here. There's been a lot of confusion as to a certain individual that was up here running his mouth, claiming that people were shot and all this other stuff, something that never happened. Checked out that it was all a lie. And for those that even heard of it. But the tribal, the true tribal leaders up here have stepped up and stated they want people to leave all the, the protesters, people in support, they want them to leave and to go home. They don't want them having to try to survive the harsh winter up here in the North Dakota Plains. If you guys have been tracking Revolutionary, he sent out a picture inside of his little trailer. I guess it's metal and wood. Every piece of metal inside that little trailer they had was covered in thick ice. The bolts on the door, the lock on the door, everything just completely froze. So it is severe when it comes to harsh weather up here. They're telling people to leave, but others are saying that uh, they think that this whole thing is just literally blowing smoke. They think that they're trying to empty out the camp so that very, very few people will be around to where if they try to, to finish this project, no one's going to be able to stop them. I also talked about how uh, this, this company, Energy Transfer, that is a part of this had stated they are not going to reroute their pipeline. They're not going to do it. They say they're going to stick to the original plans and they're saying they're even willing to accept a $50,000 fine a day to keep on pushing. Also, the tribe is saying that, you know, the current administration 
handed down orders you know, to the army telling them to not go through with this. They're going to have to wait and see what Trump does when he comes in office and what his stance on this thing is because he could take a total, total different uh, turn on it. Although he did just sell all of his stake invested in the Dakota Access Pipeline so that there was no conflict of interest there for him. But the people here seeing what's happening, uh, other people wanting to stay and support, uh, but the tribal leaders saying it's time for people to just go ahead and head out. Uh, we'll see what happens from here. If they try to make moves in completing this while there is very few people up here at this camp, some think it's just that, trying to fool the people, run them out of the camp, empty the camp, and then block off any roadways then after that leading into the camp the best they can uh, for a small window of time so they can get in there and try to complete this project. And I feel that they will rush in there with everything they've got to try to complete it if they know no one's around. And again, they will not be met by any police force, even though they're not supposed to be there completing the project. They're not going to be met by cops with water cannons, cops shooting rubber bullets. It shows you where the game sets. So, some of the latest details up there, as they state, the Black Snake is not slain yet. And this is the reason they're fighting the fight right here. Because of massive spills that will leave them and their people in jeopardy. And it seems that these other companies, they don't care because they don't have to deal with it. So this is what I say. I say that someone needs to propose running a pipeline right through their backyard, wherever they live. Because they seem to think that none of this affects them. In the end, I mean, tables have to turn at some point. Uh, this is some of the latest information here. If you guys got any info pertaining to it, hit me up, dapu7yahoo.com. I will continue to update on the numbers if they release them. I put out a lot of updates over on Twitter. Make sure you're following me there. And I'll leave links below. Much love, y'all.